Frank Seppi for NPC News Online here to 2018 Olympia Athlete Meet and Greet with IFBB Men's Classic Physique Pro George Peterson, fellow New Yorker. George, rumor has it you have an amazing back. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, and I have to tell you, this is one of those rumors that's very true. <laughs> I've seen you work out in the gym, I've seen this prep, and you look amazing. So now some people will say, everybody looks amazing on Instagram, but I've seen you in person and you do have an amazing back, probably one of the best backs in this division. What did you do this prep to get that back to next level? Because it was good before. Right. Well, the, what I actually did this prep was taking that full year off. You know, a lot of people after I did the Olympia last year asked me, well, how come you didn't decide to do the Arnold? You know, your mm -hmm. top three, you know, just do the Arnold. But no, I did so many shows to get to the Olympia. You know, I had to give my body the rest. And I feel that full year off season helped me develop my back and, and really bring my back to closer to its full potential, you know? So now Justin Miller is your trainer, right? Right. And you guys are pushing some serious weight. Justin's really old school. So... Just talk about some of the lifts that you were doing, this, 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 even just this uh, prep. I mean, in squats, you know, uh, the heaviest lift he had me squatting was up to 600 pounds. I mean, and at that time, you know, we, we didn't go up that heavy in this offseason. I mean, my, my body weight only went up to about 225, so 225, 600 pounds. I guess you could call that kind of impressive. <laughs> I used to travel with uh, Ronnie Coleman when we were both with Metrics, and he was another guy who really lifted some serious weight like he'd be two week three weeks out for show squatting you know ridiculous amounts of weight and it worked for him yes yes absolutely you know <laughs> i mean and, and actually every almost almost every leg day i would actually youtube some ronnie coleman squat videos <laughs> as my motivation you know because when you look at him just doing that it just fuels you you know <laughs> so last year you were third right yes so now this year are we gonna do it this year, we're going to do it. But I'm going to, like I saw everybody, my primary goal, my primary objective is to look amazing on that stage. I feel like once I, we do that and when we do that, it'll be hard for anybody, and that will lead to an Olympia victory. And at the end of Friday night, I will be the classic physique Mr. Olympia. Bringing it back to New York. Yes, sir, the East Coast, where it belongs. <laughs> so what are you going to do after the show? You have plans? Oh, you know what? The only thing on my mind, honestly, is some good food. You know, so, I mean, I've I got some plans, you know, to go out there, you know, eat, have some fun, you know, we'll talk with the fans. You know, it's, I'm glad that we'll be finished by Friday because then I'll have Saturday to, you know, watch the, you know, the open bodybuilding. Because at the end of the day, I'm also a bodybuilding fan. So watching the open bodybuilders, uh, you know, is, is a, uh, a pleasure for me. Watching guys like Phil, Bonac, Ramy, you know, I love all these guys. They're great, and I look up to all of them. Who inspired you to start training? Uh, I mean, who, I got inspired looking at guys like Sean Ray, Flex Wheeler, Chris Cormier. That, that era is really what, what inspired me because I remember the first time I actually started, you know, researching bodybuilders. Those were the first guys I actually started looking into. And those guys had the physiques that I, that I actually wanted to look like, you know. Will there ever be a time where we'll see you on the bodybuilding stage? Hey, you never say never. You know, they actually, you may, you may see me in, on a bodybuilding stage because, you know, look, we train all the time, our bodies want to grow, so in classic, you know we have to keep making a weight. Now, if it gets to a point where we outgrow it, then I have no problems with either jumping to 212 or even possibly open. Then the back goes from great to amazing yeah. to so, <laughs> stupendous. Know, stupendous yeah. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now, if you don't know George, if you're not familiar with him, he's one of the nicest guys that you could meet. And also, you should follow his Instagram. What's your Instagram? Tell everybody. My Instagram is George P underscore the bull. That's D-A-B-U-L-L. -L. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, IFB Pro George Peterson. My new YouTube channel is George Peterson. And, you know, definitely hit me up. Yeah, he's got some serious training stuff on there. I want to take, thank you for taking the time. You know, we wish you luck. And is there anybody you want to thank? Uh, well, I definitely want to thank my coach, Justin Miller. You know, Justin Miller, like, I, I consider, I make a comparison with me and Justin Miller, like, like Justin Miller's Eminem and I'm 50 Cent. Like, Justin Miller, he, he gave me my shot, and, and, I, and I ran with the ball when he gave me the shot. And, uh, you know, I definitely want to thank my family, like, my, you know, my mother, Christine Peterson, my sister, Renee Peterson, um, my, my niece, Kiara, Ronnie, Dwayne, Chufe, everybody that's shown support. I love you guys. All right, there you have it. Frank Seppi for NPC News Online. Thanks, man.